Mega Rally in Johnstown, Pennsylvania on Tuesday night, President Donald Trump declared, Suburban women, will you please like me? I saved your damn neighborhood, okay? Trump, in many tweets, has referenced suburban housewives and insisted that former Vice President Joe Biden will ruin the quality of life in suburbia if he wins the presidential election on November 3. The journalist Tim Alberta, this week in an article for Politico, emphasizes that Trump continues to struggle with suburban women and points to Michigan as a prime example. Advertisement Alberta reports that in three Rust Belt states Trump improbably won in 2016, Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, Biden has the advantage among female voters in suburbia. In Michigan, Alberta explains, the simplest explanation for the president's trouble is that he's continuing to hemorrhage support from white, college-educated women in the suburbs of Detroit. Alberta cites Jessica Morshakov, a voter in Brighton, Michigan, a Detroit suburb, as a prime example of how badly Trump's re-election campaign is suffering among suburban women. Honestly, all the moms I know, we are really nervous about our kids, what kind of future they're going to have, Morshakov told Politico. And Trump is the one making us nervous, he's just so angry all the time. I really believe that he brings out the worst in people, the worst in situations. Trumpism, according to Alberta, is hurting GOP candidates even in suburban areas of Michigan that have leaned Republican, and he notes that Democratic Rep. Alyssa Slotkin, who flipped a GOP-held seat in Michigan in 2018, is cruising toward re-election. According to her campaign's most recent internal poll, Slotkin is, an eye-popping 35 points above water, in terms of net favorability, with college-educated white women, Alberta observes. This came as a shock to Slotkin, a veteran national security official, who was worried that Trump's law and order message was going to scare women away from voting for Democrats this fall. What her polling revealed, consistent with surveys done elsewhere in the state, is that Trump's messaging has backfired. Advertisement Although Alberta's article is mainly about Michigan, his points are certainly applicable in other states. And the Politico reporter stresses that Morshakov is not an anomaly, she is typical of all the suburban women who don't want to see Trump re-elected. As white suburban women go, so goes, Michigan's, 16 electoral votes, Alberta explains, and with the clock ticking down toward election day, not to mention, many thousands of votes being cast absentee already, it's gotten harder and harder to see how Trump stops the bleeding with this one vital voting block. Enjoy good journalism, then let us make a small request. The Covid crisis has cut advertising rates in half and we need your help. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. Unbinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support in this difficult time. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Value Raw Story? Then let us make a small request. The Covid crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help. Like you, we believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. 
your story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media buyers here. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's block ads. Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.